Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this week's vlog, we are going to have a little book haul, unbox a cool stationery item, pack some orders, do more shop prep, made a little mistake. Shall we get started? So recently I went to Kino Kunia and I got three books um, So I thought I'll just go through with you a little bit of a haul um, The first book that I got was called Small Things Like This Written by Claire Keegan I actually went in to get the book uh, called Foster Also written by the same author but it was um, out of stock so I got this one instead um, And honestly, uh, I, I read this synopsis and I thought it was really interesting um, and it's based in Ireland and it seems like it's based on um, a little bit of a real story I might be wrong about this but I think I read somewhere and it said it was inspired by a true story um, so yeah uh, it seems like quite a like, quick read so I can't wait to get through it um, and if this turns out really good I would want to get Foster uh, which seemed to be something that people recommend quite a bit, so yeah. The second book I got was purely because of the cover. I saw the book cover on display and I thought it was really beautiful. And so I picked it up to see what it's about. I normally wouldn't buy a book um, like this. So I thought i will try it out. Um, this is called Choose Joy, Relieve Burnout, Focus on Your Happiness and Infuse More Joy into Your Everyday Life by Sophie Cleave. And in the book itself, it's also really, really beautifully designed. Like, the colours and everything is exactly what I would use for my own brand. And I just thought that I can't wait to read it because it's so pretty. The colours alone is such a joy to go through. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to read through this. That's the second book. The third book that I got is actually a French graphic novel. I believe the, this graphic novel was published in 2020. I'm not sure if the actual story itself was published earlier or it was at the same time. But I kind of picked it up. I saw it on a book trolley where people return books and I picked it up and I saw the illustrations. They were really beautiful. It's kind of like in color pencil. Like look at this, it's so pretty. So I did um, pick up French a couple of years ago. I haven't, um, and I stopped for a very long time. And uh, in school, you actually learn more proper French. Um, you do learn formal and informal way of speaking and writing. But um, a lot of times when you speak to a French native, they, uh, you speak in slang more than what you learn in school. So I. I kind of wanted to pick this up because obviously it's more conversational and I thought it would be a nice kind of revisit back into the language and of course I will need to use some uh, translation uh, website to go through some of the text um, but I do understand maybe like half of it uh, there are just some words that maybe I will need a bit of help so yeah I can't wait to go through this as well I came across this really interesting product in a shop uh, I was at. Um, it's actually a little tip dispenser and it's made up of wood offcuts. I thought it was really interesting. It's by the Offcut Factory. And I thought that it would be a really nice item to keep and to display some of my washi tapes or even use it for photo shoots. Here you can see I start to pack my uh, keychain products. So I lay out all the packing cards and I put all the um, key rings on it. Then I just tip it up. This is the beginning of a little disaster that's gonna come up a little bit later on in the video. But 
me in this video did not know what's about to come yet so keep watching to find out more So previously, if you saw my last studio vlog, you would know that um, I have my key rings and they are all ready. I just need to package them into the bag. But I forgot that I wanted to print a message at the back to say, um, to remind people to remove the protective layer of plastic that comes with the keychain. So this is my sample piece. I just write it down so I know. So I went to make a stamp. So the stamp itself, it cost, I think, $7 and this is the, basically what it will be stamped. I just made something really simple to say remember to remove the protective plastic film on both sides and I'm thinking of kind of stamping it here on the bottom and that's what I need to do for all my, all my cards before I start to package them. Here are my stamped um, key rings packing card. Um, some of them I think I might need to change the card because like this one, there's way too much ink. Um, I think this one as well. Some of them are okay. I definitely think that it gets better. Like this one is pretty okay. I think as it dries, it kind of starts to smudge a little bit as well. Maybe it's because of the material of paper that I'm kind of I'm using, uh, which is uncoated. So maybe it spreads the ink a little bit. But yeah, I might need to change some of them. Here is where I start to have a meltdown as I stare at all the cards 
and they are not turning out as perfect as I want them to be. So what I started to do was to pick up the ones that are okay and start to pack them into their bags. Um, and then I will set aside the ones that are uh, not very readable. I'll set them aside and I will try to salvage them if I can. If not, I will change it to another card that is uh, stamped better. Because I do have quite a few backing card extras. So I, 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 of course I don't have enough to replace all of them. So I had to prioritize. Here is an update on how the final product will look like, beautifully packaged and salvaged as much as I can. I just really didn't want to create waste and I know that people would buy this for the keychain and not for the card. It would be in the trash anyway so uh, I really hope that people will like it and yeah, I hope it sells well at the booth as well. very happy to receive another delivery from Vinyl Decal Stickers. I'm so glad that I decided to order this uh, restock uh, a lot of time in advance uh, because now they are actually on a bit of a holiday break and I'm glad I managed to get all of that before. Here you see I start to <laughs> uh, actually use some of the stickers that I just got. Uh, usually when I receive a new pack of stickers, I will uh, obviously organize them onto my shelves and uh, organizers. Then I will set aside a bag of extra stickers that I can give out for free as samples or just for me to use personally or for my friends and family. I bought this plastic box from Muji. Uh, it's a box for I think storing your sunglasses and I intended to give this as a gift to my friend. So I decided to use some of the stickers that I have to decorate it. Yeah, because since I just restocked my stickers, so there's quite a huge stash of stickers that I can use or give out. And here I'm just trying to choose the best color combination.
and this is the final look. I was so happy to receive two new orders on my Etsy shop and I started to pack them in this little clip here. Uh, they got one uh, bookmark and another customer got uh, an art print. My art prints don't sell very well on my Etsy shop so I'm quite surprised uh, but this is actually from one of my most highly repeated customer from my Etsy store. She has purchased from my shop four times over the last two years and I am so grateful. Um, I left a little kind message on my card and I gave her a free sticker as well and yeah if you are watching this video thank you so much for the support. I really really am so grateful and I am very happy to share the designs and the products that I have with anybody who likes them or appreciates them. I completely forgot to do an outro video so here is voice over me saying a very big thank you for watching the video all the way through to the end. It really helps my uh, YouTube 
analytics and algorithm and yeah I cannot wait to do more of these vlogs and hopefully the next one will be at Public Garden. See you soon!